the right. But be careful. When you push the hips, make sure that you just don't use your flexibility and collapse. Okay? Think, watch how I'm going to do. Use your stomach, stretch out the waist, and then push the hips. Okay? You have to stay lifted, keeping the stomach tight, pushing the hips, and bringing the body down without collapsing like this. You see the difference, right? Here I'm using my strength, and here I'm just collapsing. Okay, when you're doing this posture, make sure that you keep the alignment. The whole time you want to think like you're between two walls. You understand that? Between two walls. So if you're coming down, and you're coming down sideways like this, am I between two walls or am I leaning too far back? Too far back. Okay, now what about here? What's going on? Too far back. So how do we fix that to know we're between two walls? You have to look at yourself in the mirror. And the whole time you have to think, left tip forward, right shoulder forward. Outside hip forward, other bottom shoulder forward. All the time, and that's what's so difficult because you have to push the opposite ends forward, but that's what's going to keep you balanced in the posture. So be aware of that in, the, in this posture that you stretch up, don't collapse here, stretch out of the waist. You see how I did that? Push the hips, come down like you're between two walls, right hip forward, left shoulder forward. Make sure you're not looking at the floor, keep your chin up, keep your eyes and your forehead in the front here. Okay, any questions about this? Anybody? No? Everybody has a perfect posture? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, well, start opening up later on in the class, okay? Otherwise, we'll be done so quickly. Okay, um, so that's, that's, that's very important for the half moon. Does everybody understand that? Do teachers have any questions? Oh, that's great. Back back. Now, in the back then, yes, um, You corrected me on that. I really do find that difficult. So what? Yeah, that's because of the tightness in your shoulders. And I see right now, your shoulders are a bit tight, don't they? Like around the neck. Yeah. You get a little pain here, you should get a massage. I do. No, yeah. I have to. Go to go to go to go to work on it. I mean, maybe, you know, before you go, who knows how, how bad it is. But now it's looking all right. So just like I said, when you're in the posture, make sure that you keep your chin up. It's so easy to collapse. It makes it easier. But remember, we're stretching and we're flexing the spine laterally. The rest of the spine is going this direction, but then you keep your head down, your spine is going that direction. You want to keep it all in one straight line coming down. Head in between the ears, chin up, so it's like one straight line bending to the side. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So in the back of your bend, answer me this. Students, please. Which part of the spine are we bending in the back of your bend? Whole back. Exactly. But how many of you said lower back? Uh, okay, because this is most common. Now answer me this, which part of my spine am I using here in, in the back? Is the rest of my spine bending? Is it straight? Yeah. See? And this is so common because so many of us are flexible naturally in the lower spine. So we do it like this, we do it like this, without thinking the whole spine. And we walk out of yoga and talking about how our back hurts and how yoga hurt our back. Okay, yoga did not hurt your back. It was the technique. Your technique, your form, not listening. That's what hurts your back, okay? So think in this posture to bend all three parts of the spine. The cervical spine, the lumbar spine, I mean the thoracic spine, and then the lumbar spine. Upper spine, middle spine, lower spine. You get that? Okay, so here I took Sam's spot. She's very dialogic. I love it. You guys have to listen so carefully because the dialogue says exactly what you should do and how you should do it. First thing we say to do in the back bend is drop your head back, look for the floor, the floor behind you. You guys know this. You hear this every day. So which part of my spine am I bending now? Yes. Yes. Now, the upper spine. Yeah. Good. Lena says, arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Watch this. Now, which part of my spine am I bending now? Yes. Am I even bending my lower back yet? No. No. Okay. When you get into the back bend, don't think so much. Jam in the lower back like that, okay? First thing, drop your head back, look for the floor, and get the cervical spine, upper spine. Arms back immediately, try, try to touch the wall, whatever. Thoracic spine, middle spine, and then take any breath, push your stomach, legs, hips forward. Then you get into the lower spine. So I'll demonstrate for you one more time. Drop the head back, look for the floor, arms back, try to touch the wall, and then take any breath and push your hips forward. You see, all back bending, right? Any questions about that? Yeah. Don't talk to me. 